This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. We know Kirsten Cinema to be reprehensible, to be a traitor to America and America's working people. Someone who used to be a Green Party member and then she became a Democrat. Someone who campaigned as being a progressive and is now just a Senate institutionalist, just wants to protect the Senate and, I believe, uh, increase her net worth in the process. She has turned her back on the voters of Arizona. And luckily for us, I'm not an Arizona voter. I'm not a resident of Arizona. Although I did go to elementary school in Phoenix. For what that's worth, nothing. Um, We have Ruben Gallego running against her. He is a member of Congress, and he's now running against her for her Senate seat. Good. I am actually here for it. I will contribute to his campaign. I will do everything in my power with my tiny corner of the internet to promote his campaign. That's not what this is about necessarily, though. I saw this headline. Kirsten Cinema's $300,000 security expert is Tulsi Gabbard's sister. The Arizona senator has a security arrangement that raises several ethical red flags, according to campaign legal experts. This is from the Daily Beast. Now, the problem with this is, because ostensibly, I guess, Tulsi Gabbard's sister, a former U.S. Marshal, is probably, you know, has some understanding of personal security. Maybe, I guess. I'll give her that. But the problem lies in this personal relationship that they've had since Cinema's friendship began with Tulsi Gabbard when they were both congresswomen together. But Tulsi Gabbard, like there's cohabitation happening here. And she's now giving her money, both taxpayer dollars, but also campaign dollars. It's all smacked. It's incestuous to say the least, not literally, but metaphorically. And this needs to be known. I'm going to read from this article here. Kirsten Cinema spends more of her campaign funds on security than nearly every other member of Congress. She's underwritten well over $560,000 for her protection since late 2021. But what's more unusual than how much she spends is who she spends it on. According to federal campaign finance filings, Cinema's campaign committees have paid a combined $307,000 in security expenses to an Arizona registered entity called TOA Group LLC. And official documents show that TOA Group LLC has just one officer, Brenda Van Gabbard Bellard, better known as the sister and occasional spokesperson for Tulsi Gabbard. Gabbard, the former Democratic congresswoman and presidential candidate turned right-wing political figure, has long had a friendly relationship with cinema. And Gabbard's sister, Bellord, also appears to be quite close to the senator. Since fall 2001, Bellard has been employed as the security director in cinema's Senate office, a role that has paid her over $50,000, according to Senate records. Now, pause there. That is the taxpayer contribution of her being a security expert for the Senate in the Senate office of of Kirsten Sinema. There's another element that is she's being paid hundreds of thousands of dollars from the campaign. So she's both a public employee and a private employee doing the same thing for Kirsten Sinema. This is a cash grab if I've ever seen one. Bellord has also apparently been the exclusive security provider to Cinema's campaign. She appears to have no other clients aside from the Arizona senator. So she's such an expert in security. She's so adept at the craft. She understands it so well that this company of hers only serves one person, Kirsten Cinema. Does that not smack to you as unethical? As problematic as possibly criminal. Beyond paying Ballard's salary, Cinema's campaign committee and personal PAC have spent over $240,000 on other security-related expenses, 
airfare, lodging, meals, and other benefits for quote-unquote security detail, presumably meaning Bellard. In 2022, Cinema's campaign spent over $56,000 for security detail lodging at Marriott Hotels alone. Notably, there are also two separate charges totaling over $100,000 for security detail vehicle. Bellord may have also benefited from Cinema's campaign expenses that were not listed as specific security related. In February 2022, Cinema's personal pack paid $95 to a fat bike tour company in Park City, Utah, days before Bellard posted a photo to Instagram showing two bikes with fat wheels in snowy mountain surroundings. In response to a comment from Gabbard, Bellard said, thanks to our friend, in quotes, with a winky face emoji, and cinema liked the post. Now, this is not a smoking gun in and of itself. More, more um, investigation needs to be done, but it certainly seems coincidental, does it not? These people get into politics to enrich themselves, to use campaign fine. Listen, there's no difference between what Kirsten Cinema is doing with her campaign dollars than what Donald Trump is doing. Enriching himself, enriching his friends. It's all needs to be investigated. This is why we need far stricter regulations on campaign finance. Sarath Ghosh, a former campaign finance attorney, now at the nonpartisan Campaign Legal Center, says security is, quote, not the craziest thing for a campaign to spend money on. Absolutely not. Makes a ton of sense. Uh, politicians are under threat more now than probably ever based on the lunacy and insanity of conspiracy theories and wingnuts on the right. I get my fair share of death threats. I don't have a campaign coffer to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for security. Neither here nor there. But, Ghosh remarked, the 300,000 plus sum that Bellard received from cinema was quote unquote eye opening. And the fact that the senator is her only apparent client is one of the biggest red flags. That B Bellard is being paid with campaign funds for security while drawing a taxpayer-funded salary for the same kind of work is exceptionally rare, said Brendan Fisher, executive director of the Watchdog Group, documented. But what will be done? That is the question. Democrats are in control of the Senate. They are in control of the Senate Ethics Committee. They are in control of investigating this along with people in the executive branch, the, the Federal Elections Commission. But will they do something? Will Democrats trade the, 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 or be too afraid of the risk of losing the majority in the Senate? Are they going to focus on that rather than what could be criminality, which is certainly problematic and opt in, in the optics department, but also could just a, a vile ethical dilemma here faced by the Senate because of Kirsten Cinema and her overwhelming desire to be rich, to to enrich herself, to pour, to go on lavish trips and send her 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 security detail expert to Park City, Utah, to take a bike tour. I'd love to know what you think. Let's talk about it in the comments. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I'd love to see you there. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. <clears throat> I'm trying to wrap this up before my voice goes. <laughs> you know, when you have this voice that just falls out of your mouth when you open up your face, it's not great. It's not great. Um, if you appreciate what I do and the, the dulcet tones of my voice, please consider supporting my work. Click on the join button below, becoming a channel member, or going over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and helping support my work there. Doesn't just support my podcast, which you should be subscribed to anyway. I doubt it hosted by myself and Brittany page. Anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. And uh, I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care one another.